Newly released body camera video shows the moment Louisville police shot and killed a 17 year old homicide suspect. WDRB Stefan Johnson explains police were investigating the teenager for the murder of another teen. Stefan. First, we want to warn you the video we're about to show you that we just received from behind me here at LMPD is very graphic. It is police body camera footage. It shows the suspect had a gun fired the first shot, and according to police, he's also the suspect in a recent murder. This is police body camera footage from May 14th. Metro police are pursuing a 17-year-old suspect who is armed and considered dangerous. He's wanted for a homicide. He has a gun. He is, releasing, he is refusing to put it down. Police eventually take the suspect to the ground, but he refuses to drop the weapon. He even fires a shot after repeated commands. Colonel Steve Healy says that's when Detective Benjamin Derby had no choice but to shoot the suspect. You hear the pop from the individual, then you hear the pop from Detective Derby. While the loss of any life is tragic, the suspect's actions force the officers to react with deadly force to end the threat. Police say the suspect and weapon are connected to a recent homicide. This weapon uh, was identified through testing as the firearm that was used in the homicide of David Martinez at Crittenden Drive and Waterson Expressway. That's when I started start taping because I knew something bad was going to happen. Larry Bradford lives across the street and recorded the confrontation with his cell phone. I record a lot of stuff that goes on around here. And when I seen that many cars coming, I seen the car pull up and it was more than one, I said something's getting ready to happen. Bradford says from his perspective, police did everything they could to avoid using deadly force. But they tried everything. They even tried to get him to stop, you know, but I don't know, somehow when he was on the ground over the gun went off. And so they had to shoot him, I guess. Or he'd have shot them. Bradford says after the shots were fired, police tried to save the suspect's life. They tried everything they could. The ambulance was parked around the corner and when they came around they put him on they put him on the board and took him to the hospital, but they tried everything. The, the suspect rather died at the hospital on Wednesday, eight days after the shooting. With photojournalist Neil Johnson, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News.